Okay, welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Lovely chicken dish on the day uh, menu today. I really love this one. So I've got a pan here. I've got some quality olive oil in there, and I've got some chicken with the bone on. This is different parts. Been well cleaned. You can see I've got some legs in there, the drumsticks, some wings, a couple of thighs. At this point, I just want to add a little bit of salt. bay leaves and here I've got a mixture of oregano and basil now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop in some garlic I've got here it's like a large teaspoon of very finely minced garlic so that's going to go in all I want to do with this now is I just want to cook this together, just these items, for about four or five minutes. I'm on a fairly high heat, I mean I'm not sort of raging, but um, fairly high. Keep tossing it over, I want all of that garlic to seep and work its way into our chicken. We're also going to brown this chicken off slightly, which will give it a head start on all the other ingredients. So I'll be back here, four or five minutes. See you then. Okay, like I said, that was four minutes or so. I've turned it over a few times. Just gives it a nice head start. Obviously, we've got chicken with our bone in. We need to cook this really well. I mean, we're a long way off this being done, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, now I'm going to drop in some onion. I've got some red onion, which I always prefer to white. And I've got some potatoes there. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. We can always add a little bit more later. And I've got some lovely olives here. They've got their stones in as well. These are really delicious and really, really nice. So many different varieties of olives. You get what you pay for. So buy cheap, buy twice, as they say. Okay, get a little mix around. Those juices are going to start to come out of that chicken now. I'm going to pop a lid on this. Like I say, it's on a kind of medium type heat. Keep your eye on it. I'm going to be back here in about six or seven minutes. See you then. Okay, let's jump in. As you can see, putting that lid on has really brought some moisture out into this, which is fantastic. Our next step is some fresh tomatoes. Roughly chopped, in they go. Just leave them on the top. I'm also gonna add a can of tomatoes as well. So lid back on continue cooking for about another five or six minutes. Let's take a look now. Those tomatoes have softened really nicely as you can see. Just give them a little mix inside. That garlic's really coming out which is a really big feature in this dish. Okay, I'm going in with my can of tomatoes. I've just chopped it roughly in the tin. Now I'm gonna go for a touch of ketchup. Just a little touch like that. That will add just a little bit of sweetness and take the tartness away from the tomatoes, you'll be really surprised how often tomato ketchup is used in very high-end restaurants. You could also add a little splash of vinegar, that does the same job, 
as does a little bit of sugar. Okay, lid back on, turn the heat down, not to a simmer, just above a simmer, and now let's cook this for about 20 minutes. I'll be back then. Right, there we go. This has been slowly cooking away. Those potatoes are slightly breaking down, which is adding a slight thickness to our sauce, which is great. The chicken is absolutely beautiful. That they cooked all the way in now. Now I'm gonna add some uh, courgette or zucchini. Now I like my zucchini or courgette to have a little bite to it. So we're not far off now. Let's give this a nice little mix. Go. So what we're going to do now, get the lid back on, I only want to cook this for about four to five more minutes maximum. I want these uh, zucchini to be cooked, but I don't want them to be a mush, if you know what I mean. So that's it, lid on, back in four or five. Okay, we're done, let's turn the heat off. Pop out again. There we go, fantastic. Those potatoes have broken down really nicely. They're still there, but they've broken down a little bit to kind of create a nice, thicker sauce or ragu than we would get without them. Those zucchini or courgettes are cooked perfectly for me. I like them with a little bit of crunch still. Check out our other videos we've got hundreds up there from all around the world different food by different chefs subscribe to our channel that always helps us quite a lot we hope you enjoy this and we'll see you again next time take care bye bye